Okay, Gunnar and I are hitting one of our old home sites today, seeing what's left. I don't know, nothing amazing, but here's part of a pocket knife. Well, the plow definitely hit it, spread it out. This is a few feet away, more pocket knife. You know, I have no idea what these things are. Well, I've already dug like six of them. They kind of look like a harmonica reed, but they're way too thick. You guys know what that is? Seems like it's reeded or something. Some sort of musical thing. Ah, I knew there had to be more stuff. There's a little hardware. It's like part of a suspender. A little bit of fancy on there. You know what? I have never found a piece of a croto bell before. I've only found whole ones that ding. That's the first time I found a broken one. That's pretty cool. Well, that one's exactly like the last one. All right, a buckle. Awesome. So you got me half a button. It's been plow whacked. But it's got some gold gild on there. Big old buckle. That was ringing loud. I sure hopeful that, that was going to be a coin, but I'll take it. So, I'm back for a second day. I brought Dinwiddie. And we're just still trying to get some cool stuff out of here. I haven't been here very long. This kind of a cool cap. It's uh, in French. The only word I can really read on there says Paris. So I think that's a point off of like a Model T. Well, now that one's neat. It's got all kinds of writing on it. Velvet grip. Garter. It actually says garter on it. How cool. Here's Dan with these amazing finds for the day. World's biggest pencil from the. If there's some big garbage, I will find it. <laughs> early 1900s, late 1800s, I guess. Whoa. Might have got me a hot spot. There's another little piece of hardware. Some sort of buckle thingy. Now that's a fancy little button. Look at that. We got shank. Looks like there's like a little mold seam on there even. Wonder if I had I must have had stones in it at one point. Well, I got some sort of fancy clip here. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there's a fancy F on here. I know what this is off of. It's got a little kind of pink something something in the middle. Interesting. And there's an old salt or pepper lid there. But I was ringing up beautiful. It sounded like a quarter. Well, that looks a lot like the last one, except for the the attachments different. Man, kind of getting in a hot spot now. <clears throat> okay, so from a long ways away, I saw these rocks sticking up in here, and I thought. There's got to be a home site in this area. So I decided to just walk over here and see what the heck is going on. I can't even believe what I found. I mean, I guess I can believe it. I was looking for it. But this is huge. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at that. There's this like foundation lining the whole edge. Isn't that neat? I mean, did somebody build their house over this huge pit? I mean, you would think this is a cellar hole, but 
and just really not finding the house foundation. But anyways, Jeff is supposed to come digging with me tomorrow. It's the end of the night. I just got done digging with Dinwiddie. I'm going to save it. This is going to be a virgin spot. Probably no one's ever dug here. I'm going to bring Jeff here tomorrow. And we're going to kill it. Stay tuned. Like I promised, I'm back with Jeff. And also the surprise Dinwiddie. High tone. First, that was like a 26, 27. Seems kind of big, whatever it is. It's probably a lid of some kind. Nope. Brass buckle. And a little D buckle. Boom. First item. Awesome. All right, got a lamp part. Looks like I got part of the stove. That's pretty. Charter Oak, St. Louis, Missouri. A little sunburst. Oh man, I think I have like an old kid's badge. Sheriff or something. The heck? That's what it is. That's cool. That's way cool, man. What the heck? There's a new sheriff in town. Be wearing that the rest of the day. I think it's the bottom of a flashlight. Oh. It's got the spring in it. Yeah. What is it? Looks pretty old. Let's see that sucker. Looks like the bottom of a flashlight. Does say ever like ready. Old one. I think I might have something cool here. What do we got? Oh, it's a little sign. No way. <laughs> oh, let me brush this sucker up. Yeah, it's an all brass sign. It says Union Pacific Overland Route World's Pictorial Line The Palisades. Awesome. I love these little signs. Going right in the collection. All right, Jeff's got, whoa, dude. No way. Look at them, there's a person here and a person here. That's amazing. Can I see it? Isn't that wild looking? Oh. That looks old, huh? That is awesome. That's a beaut, Jeff. Kind of cool. Oh. You know what? what? I think. Is it a brooch? I think it's Asian. I think so. It, I think those are two Asian dudes on there. Might be. That is amazing. Good find, man. He's got himself an iron. Oh, well, hopefully if you clean that up, yeah, there'll be some writing on there somewhere. That's what I'm hoping. Not bad, man. Pretty cool. Finding some stuff. You does say, Lindsay. Yeah. Awesome, man. I don't know, I've never seen one like that. Oh, that's a, one of the sash uh -huh. ones, dude. Sweet. That's so nice. This is awesome. Holy cow. Boom. And we'll eat them. Now that clip's a beauty. I've never seen one like that. Huh. Not that interesting? Awesome. You guys see that clip? Oh, hey. It's the it's the pair to yeah, if I can quit dropping. It's the pair to Dinwiddie's. Another Lindsay. I got something in here, I think. Oh. Sort of fancy schmancy. That looks like some sort of a scutcheon. 
Oh, it was coming up a nine. Super frail. Big old spoon. We're getting closer to the kitchen. All right, we're getting in the clip zone here. Oh man, thimble time. Man, I do love getting those. Awesome, it's got some fancy in there. Yeah, there's like a, there we go. It's like a vine on there. Well, I'm not sure what that's all about, but I got a safety pin with the thingy on it. Man, everything at this site is so fancy. It's so crazy. Here's an idle now. Some little screw cap. Well, another buckle. Awesome. Okay, I decided to clean this one up before I showed you. I don't know what this is. It's it's almost got like a like a little god or somewhere right there. I don't know. If it's supposed to be Asian or Mayan or I just don't know. Really cool clip though. I have not seen one like that before. I'm just blown away about how fancy everything is here. No coins. All the relics, super fancy. So Dinwiddie went down in the hole. Had to dig it all out. Uh, got some cool pieces. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it is broken. It is broken. It stinks. Hmm. Looks like toothpaste. This kind of cool though. It's older. Like a complex. That hormone cream looks kind of newer. It does. Wow, that was booming at me. Look at that shiny suspender. Oh, let me clean that sucker up. Dang, now that one's in nice shape. Look at this, it even still works. It opens. So shiny. It's all chromed out. Awesome. So I still got a sound where I just got that chrome suspender. Oh yeah, look at that. I did, I got another clip. Two clip hole, baby. So here's where I got the last two. Duh, 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 duh. And look, I got another one right here. Man, there's hardware everywhere. I think I've gone to clip heaven. Look at that. It's the same one, looks like, as the one before that was chrome. This is right next to it. I'm just, there's that. It was right there. And I think I have another clip in the bushes here, sounds like. Awesome. Dig. I don't know if it's going to be a clip, but I'm in a pile of clips, so I feel like the chances are pretty good. Now, whatever it is, it's loud. Oh, I have seen these before. Yeah. If you go back and uh, watch my episode where I ended up in the hard cider prohibition site, I found a bunch of these. I can't remember exactly what they do, but they're definitely part of the whole assembly. I turned you off too quick. Look at that! It's another one. Chrome clips everywhere, baby. What, what? Every time. Look at it encroach. Here he comes. I'm coming. 
A guy gets a pile of clips and he just he's You're not on this side of the rocks, I'm coming up this side of the rocks. <laughs> Man, these guys can't hang on to clips for nothing. Amazing. You guys counting these? I don't know what that is, but it looks to me like a metal dress. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. It looks like it's a toy dress made out of metal. Huh. I don't know. I'm probably just being dumb. Tell me what you guys think that is. Okay, I don't know for sure, but I think I got a coin here. No. It's a token. That's what it is. Oh, let me brush it up. Dang, this is awesome. So, I don't know what it is. I think it's a bowling pin cut out. But it says, G-Bros. And then it says, good for 12 and a half cents in trade. That's crazy. I love it. This is way better than a coin. Forget coins. Give me tokens, man. I mean, what is that? Okay, we're going to prove Dinwiddie's still here. Uh, uh, I missed that one. I missed one. What yeah, I think you felt sorry for me, actually. Maybe, maybe I dropped it when I tried to put it in my pouch. Was it right on the top? No, it was buried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a heck of a hunt today. This is not where I was hunting. I decided to do a scouting mission. I just thought there's got to be a home site back up in this. There's kind of like a big old valley. And I thought, it's got to be here. So I almost gave up. Look at that. There it is. Cellar hole. Crazy. All right. See you here next episode.